Hello everyone. Welcome to our last episode of Coconut Chats for the year 2020. Um, we'll be taking a few weeks break after this episode and we'll be coming back again in January. So as it's the last week of 2020, we thought today would be a good time to talk about what we've learnt this year and what we want to take forward into 2021. So Chris, what about you? Hello everyone and I wish from the bottom of my heart that listeners listening to us are enjoying this festive season. I know this has been a difficult year and this is still going on to be a very difficult time. So wherever you guys are, we wish only the best for you. Well, uh, Hita, whatever you said is true. This has been a difficult year to say the least. What I've learned is the art of minimalistic living. I've realized over these months that you don't need a lot of extravaganza to spend your life, right? If you have a few initial basic essential kits like good food, good water, a proper house and some of your hobbies that you can follow, you're good. You don't need that extra shopping from Zara, that extra food from a five star restaurant to actually add quality to your life. Your quality in life can be measured in other depths, like what you're reading, what you're eating, what kind of people are you interacting with. If these things are good around you, I think you're sorted. That's what I've learned the first thing over these months. I'll pass on to Shamita. Shamita, hello and tell us about your experience. Hi, Chris. Hi, Harita. And hello, everyone, to all of whoever is listening to us today. Um, for me, yeah, this has been the most unusual year for all of us. And what I learned most is uh, previously, I, ha I am a person who always plans for tomorrow. Like I, I want to know what I'm doing tomorrow, where I'm going, what I'm doing, etc. So and throughout this year, I have seen that every next moment things are changing. So we don't know what's going to happen. So I think I have stopped planning. That's what I have learned from 2020. Yep, I would say that. What about you, Harita? Yeah, good point. I think I've pretty much learned the same thing. I've learned that anything can happen. You know, you can have your plan for the next month, year, five years, whatever laid out. But if something happens in the world like this, then your plans don't really mean anything. You just have to learn to adjust and make the best of what you've got. Um, you know, I've learned, just like Chris said, that as long as you've got decent food, you hopefully know how to cook, um, decent shelter, and a few people that you love and care about around you, then you're sorted. Um, and even with just those three things, you're probably better off than 80% of the world already. Um, I really learned to reflect as well. Like I've had so much, I would say, free time this year because even though I didn't lose my job, I was working from home. But normally I would pack up my evenings with social events or volunteer work or things always out of the house. Um, and all of a sudden I was at home all the time. So I just automatically reflected on what's actually important in my life and where I want my life to go after this pandemic ends and where things go back to normal. Um, so I think this year probably changed me in a bit of a good way. I became a bit more of a thoughtful person than I used to be, I think. Um, yeah, I guess. Is there anything else that you two have learned? Um, I think if I take the liberty of speaking first, I think I would say that I've become a bit more selfish. The reasons why I've started thinking more about myself rather than thinking about how to please others or how to make others happy. I've started giving more importance to my happiness. I need to seek that before I can make others happy. So I realized that with time that if my soul from within is not satisfied or if it's not at that level of satisfaction where it should be, there is no way on earth I can make someone else happy in my life. So I've started giving more space to myself. The priority now is me. So it's me versus myself, if you if you want to say it like that. So if you want to call me selfish, I'm happy to take that as a compliment. But that's what I've learned over these years that first and foremost, it's always you and then others can wait. So it's always your own self that needs that happiness first. Shamita, what about you? Um, I think one thing I have observed uh, while sitting at home, like 
you don't have much to do when you are communicating with someone and you try to over explain yourself or talk too much so that is very harmful that's what i have realized like too much communication is not good mm -hmm. so and uh, and you have to be very clear about what you say and what you want otherwise yeah it's quite similar to what chris said just now that you you need to take care of your own needs so it's yeah. pretty much like that and also i think uh, um i maybe i think it's better to be rude and very clear and uh, and always try not to over explain yourself that that's very important thing a very important thing i've learned and apart from that i i also think that uh, this year has shown us that we are so small in the in the total aspect of nature and how it's working like so our needs so two people quarreling with each, with each other over like small little things these are so meaningless where so many people are dying out there and a, a virus can turn our world upside down so mm -hmm. there is no point arguing and uh, discussing unnecessary things and wasting our time over that uh, so there are rather many important things we can do at least all of us can learn from this year that if such things happen in future so we all have been thinking so far that okay this happens once in 100 years but who knows so yeah. this may this may be the new regular threat from from now onwards so mm -hmm. we have to be more prepared and we have to be closer to nature to understand how it works because we have seen so far that we the mankind has advanced so much electro um, scientifically in electronics and everything but still we are some somewhere we are far behind with mm -hmm. re respect to how nature works so we have to be closer to nature and understand what's good for everyone us and the uh, animal world around us and not only be like selfish and just create our own world and forget about other things yeah yeah i think that's a good point i like how you both raised um the fact that you learned to put yourselves first before you know even your husbands or your family or anything um I think in a way I kind of did the same as well like I you know the pandemic was the best time to get in touch with all your loved ones near and far you know we've like you said we've got the best of technology at the moment where at the touch of a finger you can contact someone on the other side of the world um, and the pandemic really showed me like who reached out to me and who didn't um, there were some people that I reached out to asking how they were, how their families were, if their jobs were safe. And to put it really bluntly, some of them read my message and never replied. So I thought, oh, OK, well, you must be fine then. Um, it really put that into perspective for me, you know, because we all got Facebook. I can see when you read my message. Um, so it, it kind of made me think, look, I've done my part. I thought about them and I messaged them after I thought about them. They obviously don't have that same thought towards me. So it put my relationships with certain people into perspective. And on the flip, on the flip side, some people that I would probably just call acquaintances messaged me to ask me how me and my family were. And that actually felt so nice that someone that I actually didn't even think was a close friend took out a minute of their day and actually had a thought about me um and to go to the extent to message me so it put my relationships and friendships with a lot of different people into place because if a pandemic is not a time to contact people then i don't know when is um so it made me a little bit selfish in that way as well i kind of thought well i thought about you i message you don't message me back okay all good i don't need to think about you anymore um and i probably normally wouldn't be that type of person but you know, this situation made me into that type of person. So it's made me closer to the people that did care about me. And it's made me learn to switch my brain off to the people that didn't care about me, um, which is a way of selfishness. I think uh, uh, we wouldn't necessarily don't need to put it as the selfishness because this entire pandemic has changed human dynamics. Mm. We just took things for granted before February 2020. We took people for granted. But this, I think this was a necessary evil that we needed in our lives 
to put not only humans but a lot of things in perspective because mm-hmm. human dynamics was really complicated if you realize that way before we had this issue in our hands now we have seen the face value of what matters and who matters in our life yeah and this can only be shown to you when you are faced with a critical situation such as covid-19 yeah and i i would really like to thank i mean not in the bigger way but in one way or the other i would really like to thank the situation that it has shown me that in my dire times who are those people i can run to and that's a big help if, yeah. if anything else that's exactly it like it just in a, in such a quick amount of time it puts a lot of things in your life into perspective and like yeah. i feel like me and probably you too and a lot of other people like this year you would have seen a lot of clarity that you probably haven't seen in past years because you've got a lot of free time where you don't have all the noise of the world in your face all the time and you know it just puts things into perspective which is like good and you know obviously the situation is not good at all but it's good that something has just forced you to slow down and think i would still like to thank covid for that otherwise we would have never realized what we are doing we are just messing up with so many things and we don't yeah. realize what we are doing so uh, probably yeah. shamita yeah carry on yeah i think uh, yeah what i have observed so far and from my perspective as well so when the danger is knocking at your door you will first try to save yourself and nothing else and that that's like you we as uh, just creatures as just living beings to w- want to be alive that's the most important thing and everything else is like lug- uh, leisure or luxury i would say mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's the survival instinct probably mm-hmm. that yeah. that worked in us yeah. but again it's not at the moment when danger is knocking in the door right because at that time obviously you will save yourself i'll save myself but what i realized it who comes to your door when that danger has passed mm. and when you need someone to salvage your ship who comes to your door to offer yep. that help is yep. what matters and it's what i could see through all these months when i was just reflecting about my relationships and behavior and what not and i'm sure many other people would have done the same so it it it's played a very good mind game with us i have to say that way this pandemic yep. played a very complicated game with yeah. our minds and relationships um all right moving on to the last question if i will uh what are we taking away from this year into the next year harita i'll start with you first um i think well like during well during the pandemic and also when we when new zealand was in level 2 and level 3 i got into a lot of like volunteer work in my spare time so that's something that i want to continue into next year like obviously i work full time but as a hobby i want to continue you know giving back to society in some way and over the last few years even before the pandemic i've always done little bits of volunteer time whenever i have free time but probably not as much as i would like to because i end up being too busy with other things so i want to make volunteering and giving back to society a priority on my list um and that's something which hopefully i continue for next year and the foreseeable future as well amazing shamita what what about you what are you taking away from this year to the next yeah i think uh, these entire year sitting at home uh, i understand my family more i would say especially since me and my husband we live we spend time most of the time so the rest of the family is they were here in the beginning of the year but it it was mostly me and him so i think uh, there have been many situations where people can understand more by observing than by actually discussing because as i said before uh, communication is sometimes not very useful so i think uh, what i will uh, keep in mind from now onwards is to observe more and try to understand and give time to the other person to get around yeah, than yeah. Uh, jumping into a conclusion or a judgment that how mm-hmm. that person behaves so that's one thing another thing as i said uh, nature uh, that's what i think everyone needs to take care of so now uh, my friends in india who are now traveling to uh, the northern part of bengal it's the himalayas so they could see the kanchenjunga way far from 
at the actual place before yeah. because the sky is clear there are less pollution and everything so this these are like indications so i think we should uh, all work towards it so from what what is it within my radar what i can do i will definitely think about it and i will put something try to do something useful for nature here yeah. mm -hmm. nice that sounds nice uh speaking about myself i think one thing that i would like to carry over the next year is not to take anything and anyone for granted nothing is granted to me and i have to earn whatever i can earn in my lifetime so that's something that i would really like to keep in mind even for the next year and obviously as shomita mentioned this is high time this is like a good call for us to realize that uh, we are in sync with nature nothing is mutually exclusive so we survive as long as they survive so we are no nothing without them and i think for me uh, i know we have spoken about this before but i started stressing on this a lot more lately that nothing matters to me as long as you have pure emotions for someone in your heart if you love someone truly and biased of all the other man made sectors that is the utmost respect you can give to somebody else and i'm going to follow that very seriously in the next year try i'll try to love someone without looking at to what caste creed or religion that person belongs to so that's something i'm going to follow very seriously so those are some of my takeaways from this year mm. i think something else i've learned as well is how important um respect like you said and basic common sense is so i mean this in the sense that like you know especially with covid you know the government tells you to socially distance so if the government tells you to socially distance you should socially distance don't be that one person that thinks oh no i can get away with this 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 people won't find out like people might not find out it was you but then when you have these outbreaks happening eight months after the pandemic started you know like uk is going through its third or fourth outbreak australia is going through a bit of an out a second wave you know you might have been that one person to start that and if you had just used your bit of common sense stayed home for a week instead of going out with all those friends you might have actually been having a better christmas than being locked into your home right now um you know so simple things like common sense even if the government doesn't tell you to do something use your own mind and just think if i do this how does it affect the people around me how will it affect my family my colleagues my friends yeah. and yeah. this is not just about covid either but it's more like just a general sense of being a human if you do one action it might not personally affect you much but you need to think about how that affects the people around you and how it could have flow on consequences that could go on for years and years in the future um and i think like in a funny way like covid has showed that in a medical way you know it's showed look one person went and broke the rules and now look we're having a second wave but it's just like if you as a human don't use your common sense then it has flow on effects um and so that's something i've really learned is like to think not just about myself but to think about everything before doing action a or action b yeah that sounds about right i wish more of our listeners listen to that and adhere to that while mm -hmm. going out for the next parties in india or wherever they are from mm. all right uh, i think this was a good uh, wrap up conversation for our last episode of this year uh we will be back very shortly probably around the second week of january 2021 with amazing new episodes for all our listeners those of you who have given all your support feedback and thoughts to us thank you so much we can't thank you enough and we want your ongoing support for all our next ventures and stories to tell to you all of you till then keep reaching out to us our gmail account is coconutchats@gmail.com please do not forget to share like and subscribe our youtube channel which is coconut chats um enjoy your festive season we wish you all a very very happy new year and may you all be blessed with lots of love good health and positivity with that we bid goodbye on this side of the river and we'll meet you all soon thank you and bye bye everyone bye bye